Now making his way to the ring from the red corner, John Morehouse. Now making his way to the ring from the blue corner, Tony Leone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Bradenton Area Convention Center in Bradenton, Florida, our next bout of the evening is sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission under Shindo Kumite rules and regulations. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. The three judges scoring at ringside are Rich Green, Hector Gomez, and Alicio Rodriguez. Your referee in charge of the action, Jorge Alonso. Introducing first, Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks, six feet, 160 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career. Three wins, no losses. His fighting style is Southside Taekwondo from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Here is John, the Pearl Nautilus Morehouse. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with red and white trim. He weighed in at 160 pounds. His professional record, one win, one loss. His fighting style is Dutch Muay Thai, representing USA Muay Thai and Bootenbeek Combat Sports from Crystal River, Florida. Here is Tony Leone. Our fathers, we give you instructions in the dressing room. Let me remind you, protect yourself at all times. And obey my instructions, okay? What I say, you must obey all the time. Good luck. Back up. Once again, a pair of 160 pounders ready to go at it. Round number one, three three minute rounds. This is going to be a really fast paced, exciting fight. These two guys are in there to fight. These two know how to fight. They know the Muay Thai rules. Morehouse in the red trunks. Leone in the black trunks. Leone from Crystal River. He's got a good following here tonight. Yeah, Leone is a, is a great fighter. He's a, he's a fighter that marketed himself, and that's what's important. You want to grow into this sport, you need to be able to market yourself. Um, I see a big future from him in Shindy Kumite. A big right hand from Leone, and he's followed it up. Morehouse, very experienced, trying to hold on, and he takes a knee to the face. Going down, the referee Jorge Alonso appeared to have he, he, separated the two fighters, and that's when the knee hit. Well, he, he, that knee came in a wrong time. He shouldn't knee him when he was on the ground on his knee. And Morehouse really looks fuzzy. Again, Morehouse very experienced. And doctors are really looking and checking out Morehouse to see if he's okay and see if he can continue. Morehouse down on his knees when the kick came and the knee hit Morehouse flesh in the face. Let's go, baby. Let's go, 
So they will deduct two points yeah, from Leone. They hit him because he had his knee down on the ground. And Leone, for his part, looked like he was finishing the combination. Yeah, he was finishing the combination, but you know, journaling kicks in, you just go for it, so. Morehouse able to continue. Leone lost his mouthpiece. Leon, Leone is a much more powerful fighter. He's got a, he's a strong. Big right hand by Leone. Morehouse trying to hang in. Again, he took a knee to the head early in this fight. You got to give it to John Morehouse. He's a tough guy. You know, he got that knee into his head. He's still fighting. And uh, these guys are tough. They're here to fight. They're strong guys. Oh, and a big knee to the head again yeah. Yeah. of Morehouse. And Morehouse going down. The second knockdown in this round. Tony Leone is a tough guy. I don't think John Morehouse can match his power. He's a strong guy. Both fighters 160 pounds. And a huge kick from Leone that connected with Morehouse. Morehouse able to get away. Any any shot that Leone throws, it's all power. Nothing is set up. It's all power. And that's the way Stefan Butenbeck teaches fighters. He's a Dutch style. This is Dutch fighting. You know, they use power, power, power. And that is the end of round one and a very exciting round number one. Yes, you can see Tony Leone at all is not tired. He's just walking to his corner with no problem. He's going to win this fight, no doubt. And it's obvious that Morehouse is experienced when you take the punishment that he took. He was able to survive that round one. And looking over in his corner, he appears to be okay. So round number two, the advantage, Leone after round one, getting to Morehouse for a couple of knockdowns. But he was also penalized two points because of a late kick. It was a late knee strike while the fighter was down, he hits him again. Big right hand from Leone. Morehouse coming back with a knee into the midsection of Leone. Right hand from Morehouse and a big right hand from Leone to answer. You gotta block that. You gotta block that. He's not timing his leg kicks, Leone. Uh, it's kind of cutting it short. He's gotta hit, find a good distance for that. Left hook by Leone, connects. A lot of inside leg kicks. I haven't seen a nice, powerful outside kick. Yeah, good. Finally, finally, Tony. Now do you what you're supposed to. Stand up straight, boy. Stand up straight. Grab the please. Turn him, turn him, push him. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Good right hand by Morehouse. Strong kick to the midsection by Leone. You have to also give it to John Morehouse after getting that abuse in the first round. He's coming back hard second round. He's fighting good. Again, he looks like an experienced fighter and is coming back the way you would expect an experienced fighter to come back. John Morehouse needs to watch out for that overhand right hand. Big right hands by Leone. Every Morehouse time. coming back. Every time that overhand right hand works, every time. He's not keeping his guards high enough. One, two on his face. One, two. Winding down in round two. So after controlling round number one, Leone in round number two takes some punishment from Morehouse. Morehouse rallies. And this sets a stage for what should be a wild round three. They got to come out and really put up a good game. I feel like John Morehouse is more late started kind of a fighter. You know how some fighters are start late and some fighters start fast and they die quick. So I think the third round is going to be a very exciting round because we'll see who can take it to the next level. Uh, 20 really need to hit it hard because of the first round, he got two point deducted. So that's going to play against him. So he's got to really go hard. The third and final round, both fighters, 160 pounds. Leone controlled things in round one, but was penalized two points. Morehouse came back in round two. So both fighters looking to cement things here in this third and final round. Three minutes. Yeah, and back up top. Come on. Right hand, the right hand is there again. Tony, he's pulling his left, he's pulling his left. The right hand is there again. When you go down, over him. Yeah. Big right hand by Leone that did connect and then he follows up with a pair of knees to the midsection of Morehouse. And Morehouse is stuck on the ropes and takes a right hand to the jaw and they're just calling that a slip. I think he was more like a knockdown. Thunderous right hand from Leone. And Morehouse hangs in. A left by Leone. Another left. It was an excellent fight. Excellent fight. Very exciting. A shot to the body by Leone. I like what Leone does. He goes to the body, then he comes upstairs with the right hand. All he got to do is finish it with a nice kick to the head. Thunderous oh, left hand. hand. Another left hand. Morehouse, after a right, doesn't show very many effects. He's now got a bloody lip. But Morehouse refuses to back down. Morehouse, keep going. Once again, a slip. Oh, 
I see some nice uh, martial art kicks, axe kick and back kick. I like those. Axe kick is my favorite. Leone taking some punishment now. Here comes Morehouse. Morehouse starting to rally. This is a great fight. Both fighters fighting excellent. Right hands from Leone, a big right hand. And Morehouse again stands right there. And that is the end of the fight. And you talked about it, Master Meredad. You said this was going to be a wild fight. We expected a wild final round, and we got that. This was a great fight. Both fighters fight excellent. And I think they brought a lot of spirit. They didn't back down. You know, these are not sissy fighters. These are real fighters. And I think John Morehouse did a wonderful job. Uh, Tony Leone did a great job. Both fight really hard. These guys didn't back down. They came back more and more and more. Very impressed with Morehouse because he took, he really took some punishment throughout that fight. Remember, he took that knee to the head that they deducted two points from Leone from in the first round. And Morehouse doesn't seem to be affected. No. He's got a bloody lip, but that's it. You see, I, it's easy for me to comply with this because I understand it's a spirit. It's good for you to tell people in the world because what is your thought of this? I mean, this is a real warrior. Well, it, I mean, it truly is a warrior. Now, the other thing that's very interesting is that as soon as the fight was over, Morehouse and Leone hugged each other and they were talking. And I, I mean, we've seen some other fights to where guys can barely do much of anything at the end of a third that's round. That's called honor. And these, these two, two guys, athletes. That's what I'm talking about, honor, respect. So you can have your kids there, you can have your wife there. This is not a brawling, bashing stuff. This is athlete, these are champions, these are warriors. That's why we want to tie these people to our becoming boys for our children without a voice, underprivileged children, help children around the world, help foster kids around the world, becoming a mentor. A fascinating fight that is going to go to the please scorecards. Before the decision, how about a nice round of applause for both fighters, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Bradenton Area Convention Center in Bradenton, Florida, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. Judge Ekaguda Gomez scores about 28-26. Judges Rich Green and Alicio Rodriguez both scored the bout 28-25. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Tony 